Sophie Rawrth was announced last month as the replacement for Andrew Marr's Sunday morning politics slot, while the broadcaster searches for a permanent replacement. Having been a guest journalist numerous times, the flagship BBC presenter will host the temporarily titled Sunday Morning beginning this Sunday, January 9. Who is Sophie Rawrth? Who are her family? Sophie Rawrth is one of the BBC's senior newsreaders, and watchers will have seen her most regularly on BBC News at 6. She is commonly seen on screens during large state occasions, such as the Queen's Golden Jubilee in 2002 and Prince Philip's funeral in 2021, and also has a wealth of election coverage under her belt. Ms. Rawrth is also the presenter of the BBC's coverage of the annual Chelsea Flower Show. She first joined the BBC back in 1992 as a news reporter for Greater Manchester Radio and became a regular presenter of BBC's Look North. Ms. Rawrth has also presented for the BBC at the Oscars and in Washington for Bill Clinton's impeachment trial. Ms. Rawrth is married with three children and the family live in London. She married Richard Winter in 2003, and together they have two daughters, Ella and Georgia, and a son, Oliver. Her husband Richard was reportedly a friend of hers years before they married. Her children are all believed to be in their teens. While Ms. Ryerth keeps her family life guarded, she has spoken of her children before. She said, I love running with my children, although I can't say they love running with me. My son likes a run, but he beats me, which is annoying. The other two are older, and they are not sure they want to be seen running with their mum. My eldest daughter has announced she wants to run a half marathon with friends. I was like, really? So that's nice that this permeates and encourages them. Not much is known about the presenter's direct family, but her appearance on BBC genealogy program Who Do You Think You Are revealed a fascinating family history. She is descended from non-conformists Protestant Christians who refused to confirm to the governances of the established Anglican Church in the 1600s 